read all of it. I mean, I, I'm not going to be able to get to it all. You can correct it. But, but keep in mind this, especially guys, you know, young, junior, below. If you're a senior, going to be a senior, maybe, maybe, maybe not enough time. But keep in mind this, okay? Stick with the philosophy. If you've got young kids, stick with this philosophy. Even if they're getting beat, the time will come where they pass people. They will pass people when they learn to move their feet. But if I have a kid like we're Sam, come here, Sam. If I got a kid like Sam here, I cannot get what I want. It's impossible. Okay? Now I can train him every day, six days a week, teach him great technique. Okay? But there's going to come a time when if he's going to be pretty good and be able to beat some of the better guys in the state or in the nation, okay? It's going to depend on how well he moves. Okay? So I've seen superstar kids be able to overpower people, take people down, whip people, okay? And then it comes a time when that starts to even out with kids that have developed their footwork. They will develop it, but you can't get it now. They're not physically strong enough. They're not developed. Their body's not developed. Your body's not developed. There will come a time, eighth grade, ninth grade, maybe some, maybe a little bit later, junior, sophomore, okay? And as soon as it hits and we learn to move those feet and they come natural and fluid, Okay, you go to a whole nother level. Okay, with everyone I've coached, and I've coached over, I think I'm up to 36 NCAA champions. Okay, every one of them got better with their foot movement. That's the way reason they won. Yeah, skill made a big difference, learning how to ride, learning how to get, yeah, that's all important. Okay, but you got no chance if you can't take someone down. Or you can't defend. Hey, Josh. You can't defend. Okay? So, come back out, Joe. So, we're going to do stance, motion, stagger, stance, moving forward. Ready, go. Square stance, move, 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 move. Hands down. Come on, down. Stay down, stay down. Stay down. Bend those knees. Keep those knees bent. Good. Okay? Notice he's not circling on the dime. Not a dime. Okay? It's not a dime. How many of you guys watch Jordan Burroughs? Okay? What's he do well? Double leg. Right? Three shot. Alright? Outside that, doesn't get in a lot of positions. But what does he do best? Keep going, Joe. What's he do best? What's his the greatest thing he does? Well. Moves his feet. That's why he's great. It ain't because he's got a good double leg or he's got a great counterattack. His guy moves his feet, man. And he is explosive, he's quick, he uses his speed. And there's several of you in here quick, okay, right? Okay? There's several of you in here quick, all right? But Jordan Burroughs is great because he moves his feet well. Those guys said, I can't get a hold of him. Can't get a hold of him, okay? Now, we're gonna go from our square stance to our stagger stance, moving forward. Go, square stance, stagger, go. Down, 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 don't just stay down, stay down, move it forward, move it forward, move it forward. Now notice anytime we're moving forward in our stagger stance, we're jabbing that foot. Jabbing it, jabbing it, jabbing it, short step. We don't want to notice he's keeping his foot back behind his body. We're not sticking it out there. I don't want my knee ever behind my top of my toe. Now, it may get close sometimes, but I want to keep that pressure on it. Go forward, forward, forward. Forward, learn to come forward, grab and hold up, learn to make contact. How do we reach? How do we go to our opponent? We don't go to him by reaching for him. We go to him by staying down, going to him, learning to move our feet, stepping in. Okay? Here, here. Okay? He starts to move his head a little bit. This is, this is what you got to get better at. Okay? Don't move your head like you're jerking. Okay? Go. Circle. Okay. So he's using his square stance, he's using his jab step, going forward. Anytime we're going, we can put a stagger stance in front of us, one foot in front of the other. We go forward. Learn to go to the guy. Learn to be aggressive. Okay, I hate coaches, and there's a lot of them out there that coach defensively. 
I can't stand it. Stand it. I can't stomach it. Okay? Because the, ultimately, when you learn to be the aggressor, okay, you're going to make mistakes. Okay? I can tell you, watching Mark Munoz, he lost more matches because he was over-aggressive. But the, it's also the reason why he was an NCAA champion. Okay? Because he learned how to be, he learned how to take that, take that aggression and pick his shots. You know, but he never, never thought about letting up on the match. So learn to be aggressive, okay? If your coach teaches you defensively, well, I don't know what to tell you, okay? Because I don't know how to coach you. I just know how to beat it, okay? <laughs> Somebody wants to stand in front of me or wants to stand in front of one of my athletes and, and they want to just counter, we're going to beat them, okay? Because you're not going to counter all my, all my skills. You're going to counter maybe a shot or two and you might score, okay? But I'm going to score 10 points while you score your two points. Because I'm the aggressor. So learn to be aggressive. Learn to be on the offense. Learn to, and through that, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to lose matches maybe because of it. Okay? But if we don't ever learn that, that type of emotion in the match where I can just go out and attack and not worry about things, then we're always going to be a little bit scared to do it. You follow me? We're always scared to make a mistake. I'm not worried about making a mistake. I'm worried about scoring points. I say that every one of you guys, you want to thrill the crowd. Whoever's watching you out there, you want to put a show on. They don't want to watch you stand around. You know, Russell and D, they want to watch you score. They want to see points on the board. Okay? So, back to this tray, come on. Okay, square stance. Go. Stagger. Go. Forward. 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 Okay, now, stop, stop. One thing that he's doing now, he's dropping his back leg here. Now, even when we square, even when we, this is important stuff here. Everybody pay attention, okay? When you, when you switch back to your trip, to your back, to your uh, lead leg, okay, your staggered stance, okay? I still want my feet shoulder width apart. So if I'm here in a square stance and I switch to a staggered stance, I still want my, I'm going to put a 45 degree angle with my back foot, but I'm still in shoulder width, my knees are right outside my shoulders. Don't get where you're in a straight line here. Because now all I can do is go here. Fire right straight ahead. If this guy makes a half circle, i got to readjust. Okay? So we keep our feet even when we do it. Joe did a good job once again, Trey. Go. First thing, second, go. Staying that width, even when he switched to the stack. Okay, you guys notice that every time he goes forward, he drops a hand. Remember, when we change levels to a certain level, drop that hand. What hand is it? It's always the, the it's always the opposite of my lead leg. I keep this hand out in okay, case so I want to defend with it. Okay? This is kind of helps us with balance. You know, I used to just touch it, touch it, bring the hand up. Kind of helping us with our coordination. Okay, go again, Trey, go. Okay. Dagger. Good, 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 good. Keep those feet a little wider. A little wider. There you go. Stagger. There you go. Keep them wide. Keep them wide. Okay. The reason we keep them wide is if I, if you end up in a straight line here in your stagger stance, okay, and I blow you, I hit a double leg, I'm going to go through. You can't sprawl from this. I don't have enough coordinate. I need here so I can pick my feet up. Okay, go. Good, good, good. Good, tighten your circles up, tighten your circles up. I want to see those tight circles. That's when we get a lot of wear and tear on our legs right here. Circle the other way, going left, make sure we know each way. You gotta be able to be, good, good, good. Okay, break. All right, we got the idea, just a little stance in motion. Okay, and just keep in mind this. I'm going to overemphasize it, okay? We're not going to wrestle like this. We're just going to practice like this. Okay? And, and some days, this guy's real quick and, and he's moving there. I'm going to, I, got, I need to get a hold of him. 
Okay? So when I get a hold of him, if he doesn't know how to wrestle out of contact, okay, he's going to struggle. Okay? So I don't want everybody thinking that we're just going to wrestle. We're not wrestling. We're just drilling this way. We're going to have to learn contact. But all this foot movement that we're working on, if we put a lot of minutes into it, all of a sudden my shots get easier. My level change gets easier. I move my feet quicker to the high cross. I move my feet, feet quicker to the single leg. Okay? I start, my, my footwork starts getting a lot quicker and faster. Okay? And that's, that's shots. We're going to hit those low single Boom! We're going to hit an inside high single leg. Bam! Okay? It's about, about doing what? What are we doing? Every time we take a shot. What are we doing? Pegasus. Moving our feet. What are we doing every time we sprawl? All right, here we go. Square stance. Here we go. Yeah. 